My personal story starts with Amazon.com and me clicking that one-click purchase button a lot too often. Those small actions that I was doing, purchasing little things here and there, did not align with the grander vision I had for my life, wanting to travel more, spend more time with friends and family, be more available in general, and have more financial freedom. Clicking away my money did not align with those values. And so I wanted to explore what it would mean to align the values that I held and the actions that I was doing on a regular basis. Over the years, Break the Twitch grew around that concept into what is now minimalism, habits, and creativity as a framework for intentional living. And that's where we are today. But I wanted to return to some of my roots around values and actions and discovering exactly how those things are aligned in our day-to-day -day life. I was recently working on an episode of these monthly audio series that we've been putting out for the Break the Twitch private member community. And I came up with an idea around how we can take our core values, specifically five of our most important core values, and from a bird's eye view, look at our day-to-day -day lives and see how the things that we're doing on a regular basis actually line up with those values, and then see the things that don't line up, the things that we can slowly work to change over time to make sure that more of our life reflects those core values. So that's what this video is all about. I'm going to make a blog post as well at breakthetwitch.com. I'll put a link to that blog post in the description of this video, just in case you'd prefer to follow along with writing or get the downloadable worksheet or just check out all of the values list and all that good stuff. This full list of values to choose from is available at breakthetwitch.com slash values. But just in case you wanted to pause the video and look through the list to see which ones resonate with you, you can go ahead and do that right here. What I want you to do is look through that list of values and find five of them that really stand out to you. And I'm talking about values that you hold now, not aspirational values or values you would like to have, but the ones that truly resonate with you right now. So once you have them, just put them just right across. And then the very sixth thing should just say N-A. Once you have your page set up with the headers across the top, all you need to do is take some time and mentally go through every different aspect of your day. Let's just say on an average week. So waking up in the morning, checking your phone, spending time on social media, going to work, getting ready, maybe it's picking up your kids from school, it's going to school, going to lunch at work, every different little aspect of your life. And what I want you to do is take those things, those different activities, and place each one underneath the column of the value that it represents. Now, here's the real kicker. That sixth column that you made with just NA, I want you to put anything that you're doing on a regular basis, day to day, week to week, in that category, if it doesn't reflect any of your other five core values. Now, don't feel shame about putting stuff in this category if you don't find it reflects any of your core values. It's perfectly fine. This is your list that you're going to focus on slowly and eventually making changes to. Just small little edits day to day, starting with just one thing. But this is a great way to take a step back and see exactly what your life is looking like. You're reviewing your core values, the things that are most important to you and your well-being and you simply living well and intentionally. And then you're looking at the things that do not align. At that point, it's really easy to pick one of the things and start making some changes to it. Now, obviously it's going to be hard if there's zero aspects of your work that fit into any of your core values. So try not to just put work in the NA column. Instead, break it down into different aspects of your work. Social time with coworkers, does that fit any of your values? Contributions at work during meetings, things like that. 
there might be individual elements of any particular given situation that do in fact align along with some that do not. So make sure to approach it from more of a micro level than a macro level. To be honest, if there's not a single thing within your work or your afternoons or your evenings that do not align with your core values, maybe it's an opportunity to take a step back, look at a potential career change or more. So that's the activity, that's the exercise, and I found this to be incredibly helpful looking at identifying these specific core values and figuring out what aspects of my life fell into what. If you'd like more examples, more information, and a downloadable template for this, make sure to check out the blog post at breakthetwitch.com. I'll put a link directly to it in the description of this video. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.